All right, everyone, welcome to this week's unemployment, happily unemployed, very happy to be out of the corporate world, and I'm alive. I'm so happy to be alive. My voice is still shot. Um, I'm almost approaching two weeks now of being sick. I thought I was getting better, got on a flight to California, to Entrepalooza, uh, ended up really back, I barely made it home. I, I was that jerk on a plane Friday night, coughing, and oh, it was horrible, uh, basically had no voice. Uh, couldn't stop coughing was on my butt all weekend so this is why this is coming on a Monday versus last week but I'm here I'm alive and today is the first day that I woke up not feeling like I was gonna die so it's a good day right um, let's talk about lessons of un- or of running your own business because this is my pet peeve I talk about this on my podcast all the time about people really, oh, entrepreneurship is so easy. You know, you just put up a website and everybody flocks to it and it's just so awesome and you just make a bajillion dollars just, you know, by sitting in your uh, underpants at home. And okay, yes, it's not hard. And I'm not telling you this to discourage you and be like, oh God, is this really hard? I really shouldn't do this. Uh, As Brendan Bouchard said a couple weeks ago when I was at his uh, event, it's a bunch of simple steps put together but it's not easy. Okay. You got to get over your head game. You got to go over some blocks. And so last week I launched my Cairo course, the prestigious practice, uh, for the second time I did things differently. I did a product, product launch type formula that Jeff Walker teaches, uh, totally different experience so far. I'm one, I'm a week into it, not quite a week into it and much better results than I got last time. So we'll see, you know, when everything opens up, but definitely a better experience. However, lesson learned. I set everything up, worked my butt off to get everything set up, uh, and then did the videos last. And I actually have two more launches coming up of two different courses over the next, uh, my goal is before November 21st. That's when I'm going back out to another Brendan Bouchard event. But, um, my goal was it's totally switched now. Like the videos are getting done this week. Nothing's launching for several more weeks, but everything is going to get done this week because you know, I eat just stupid things like they're going to they take longer than you think. And, and I think I'm getting video down, but they take longer than you think. And then I was, you know, we have a studio upstairs that we record from and I, I knocked out three videos in a row. Oh, my God, you guys, I hit them out of the park and came down, imported them, hit play and realized my microphone wasn't plugged into my video camera enough. I mean, just stuff like that. And it kills you. And so I planned to launch on a Monday. Didn't get launched till Wednesday. And as I'm, I have to fly out, I have to connect. So I know things are going to be, you know, I'm going to be working on air Wi-Fi, which isn't stellar, but it works. And I got to my hotel room that night thinking I was there. I just had to put up a couple of Facebook ads and life was golden. And I texted JJ at, I, it was late. And I said, can you just check the opt-in one more time? I just want to make sure everything's working right. And it was broken. And a Weber had decided for some um, whatever reason not to play nice with my pop up. I use Pop Up Alley Pro for all my pop up stuff. And I mean, I you know I swore I was in tears. I was ready to quit. I was frustrated. Um, you know, I've said why can't anything ever be easy? You know, I've said that in that horrible, lame, whiny voice. I've said it. But it was just one of those things where you're going to hit those blocks. And, you know, I had to make a decision. Do I just get this up tonight? It was, I was tired. I was exhausted. I was still a little sick. I was, you know, I just wanted to go to bed and I thought I'll just wait till next Monday. And I powered through it. And there's going to be those roadblocks. You are a lucky son of a bee if you get through and, you know, a launch or a product creation or anything where it is just smooth sailing. It's not going to happen until you've done it several times and you really know. But even then, you're going to run into things you don't expect to find. So you've got to be prepared for those bumps. And you got another coming. And you're not a failure when you hit them. And you're not doing anything wrong when you hit them. You just got to figure out how to do them right. And I, I just say this because I don't want people to get discouraged. I don't want people to be like, my God, you know, I put in a 90 hour work week. How are these people, you know, how did Tim Ferriss put together the four hour work week? I I don't think he's working four hour work weeks anymore. Just a hunch, but you just have to power through. You have to know that it's coming and that you're, you're, you, you're going to just get back on track and figure it out. So don't look at anybody and look at yourself and say you, you're a failure and you're not doing anything right because you're not, it's not as easy for you as it is for them. Figure out ways you can get through it. Learn your lessons. Now I know, you know, next time when my next couple launches come out, they're going to get easier because I know 
what to expect. I know how to make these work around. So just be prepared, prepared for those and do your videos first. That is the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Get your videos done first because like I said, I thought those were going to be the things I could just knock out of the park and then, uh, you know, you get sick for two weeks. You can't talk. I mean, who expects that? But, you know, all these things happen and you just, those are your most crucial pieces, you know, and fitting everything together. Is, I hate to use, it's the simple part. The videos are the harder part. So get those done first. Until next week, it's Aaron of the Starters Club. Uh, I do have a link to the prestigious practice if you know any chiropractors out there who are looking to boost their business or who are looking to, um, you know, any students who need to start now, definitely, they, they all need to start now. Also, if you know somebody getting ready to start a business and they have every excuse under the sun, get have them get in touch with me because I'm going to be putting together an awesome program, giving a lot of free information to get them up and running before the end of 2015 or 2014. We're not at the end of 2015 yet. 2014. So uh, have them jump on my list because I'm going to be doing this really awesome program to get people up and running before the year ends. I don't want them putting it off till next year. So until next week, it's Aaron at the Starters Club. Thanks so much for watching.